Hey everybody, welcome back to Architects of the West Kingdom. Let's keep architecting. So, I think it was my turn, and what was I going to do next? I could get a whole bunch more silver. I could just be drowning in silver. Uh, at the end of the game, silver is basically 10 to 1. 10 silver is 1 point. So, I think I got enough silver for now, though. So what am I going to do instead? I do need to start thinking about actually building my own buildings, especially my hideout, which when I build my hideout, I immediately get to jailbreak everybody I've got in jail for free instead of having to use a worker to do it. If I build the armory, I immediately get to uh, kidnap everybody at a location, or not everybody, but a, a one group of people. And if I build the keep uh, um, at the end of the game, for anybody I've got held in my own private prison instead of the, the regular prison, I have victory points for every three of them. So these the buildings I drafted for. I knew I was going to go evil right from the get-go. You can see, building these things will get me evil to where I can get to the no tax paying. So maybe I should start worrying about that. Um, oh, whoops, by the way, the last time I went to the black market, I forgot I should have gotten two more bricks. Look at all these bricks I've got. Although, ironically, I need almost no bricks for any of my buildings. But my bricks are my ticket to sainthood, because after I'm done being evil, I'll start um, donating them to the town. And because I'm using the patron, I'll increase much, much faster. So I'll be able to pull my way out of my, my evil spiral before the game is up. Because, again, you could lose a lot of points for being super evil. So I plan to be evil for a while, but then redeem myself in the eyes of the town. But in the meantime, you know what? I guess, yeah. Uh, although, if I do black market one more time, I could get that wood cutter. So then I could start gathering wood faster because I need eight. I need 11 wood. Yeah, let's go on ahead back to the black market because I love it there. So cost me two. My um, virtue drops even more. I can no longer contribute to the cathedral. Ah, cathedral's for chumps. Um, I get two extra bricks because I'm a swindler. Look at all those bricks. Um, you know, those bricks could, I could use, four, no, actually no, I can't use bricks for the cathedral at all. All right, I'm, but, but the bricks can be converted into virtue at the king's storehouse and I can do it better than normal. All righty. Anyway, so I got those bricks, and I get a worker of my choosing. I don't have to worry about left to right. I'm going to take that wood cutter, and now I've got two different types of icons. And I can now be better at forestry. And, I mean, she wasn't evil, so I didn't become more evil taking her. All right, so that was my turn. Slide, a new one comes out. It's another stone cutter. All righty, and that was my turn. Oh, wait, no, but once again, everybody goes to jail. Oh, and shoot, I forgot something. Hold on a second, folks. I forgot before. When um, there, There's one more step to black market. So everybody goes to jail. The market changes. Oh, by the way, yeah, yeah. The market changes like before. And so it's still gold over here, but now there's a different payout over there. And um, we have to check over here. When, the, when uh, the, the market reset happens, the black market reset happens, if any player has three or more people in jail, they drop in reputation. Now, last time that didn't happen, but this time, look at this. I've got four people in jail. Helen has got two. So I have more than three, so my reputation dropped one more. I'm getting closer to tax-free living, folks. And whoever has, which, oh, and I forgot this last time, too. Uh, at, you know, last time this happened, whoever has the most in jail takes a debt. So last time, I did accumulate debt, which is negative two points at the end of the game. And now it's going to happen again. Uh, um, I, this time I've dropped and I've got more debt. So this is negative four points. But remember, if I spend money, uh, I can get rid of those points and turn them into virtue. So I've got a plan for the end of the game to crawl back out of my hole that I've dug for myself. All right, so, anyway, so now I've got four of my 20 workers in jail. Oh no, what am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a uh, hideout, which will score me eight points, and it'll rescue them all. Hooray! Although there's other, I mean, there, I don't have to. I could just send a single guy over here, and for a single action, I could get them all out for free, but I like building the hideout instead. Anyway, though, so that was it, and once again, the black market is refreshed, and hopefully this time I'll be able to go to the big one, and so Helena won't keep snagging it from me. Okay, so that was my turn. Helena is up. She is going to the king's storehouse. Oh, interesting. All right, so she gets three more. One, two, three. Now, if this were a, a human player, you'd be worried about this because, again, the more once somebody builds in an area, the more powerful they become, that's when they become a target for being uh, kidnapped. And I'm um, thinking, Jen might do that now. 
Let's see, because Jen has finished, so now she needs to get eight lumber, eight stone. So she's got to start all over again. Uh, I mean, so she's got to start building up to get the lumber and the stone. Before she does that, maybe she should go and hire. Let's see, now she'd have to pay a lot to get to that stone cutter to skip over him. The illusionist makes it, oh, this is interesting. The illusionist, when you go to the black market, you don't drop in your uh, evilness. The pickpocket, when you steal from town, which, has Jen done, oops, no, Jen didn't do this. How long did this last time? Not much taxes, nobody, because nobody's recruiting. Hmm, is Jen just gonna start building up again? Or, let's see, she also needs, well, she needs, I think she wants to wait until these other one gets recruited so they come down lower. Or, or Jen could go to the black market and recruit anybody she wants. She could afford a little bit of evil because she's so high up. Yeah, you know what? Jen's going to dabble on the wild side. She's going to come to the black market, spend two silver, drop just by one, and take anybody she wants. She's going to get this very, very expensive stone cutter, which means she'll be able to start collecting lumber or uh, stone that much faster because she needs a lot. All right, so that was it. And another woodcutter comes out. My turn. And remember, I was just talking about how once a lot of people start to build up, that's when you might start, start thinking about kidnapping them. I'm going to kidnap somebody. Here we go, folks. Town center. I only have one, so that means I spend one. And it's a, it's a red, so it's tax. And now I can pick one group. Now, Helen is a little bit different. When she does it, she just takes everybody from one location. Uh, players can't do that. They just have to pick one group. So I have a choice. I could just have paid this to get all my guys back, but I've still got plenty. I, instead, am going to pick this group. All I'm going to take three of Helena's, and now I've got them kidnapped. Um, and if I get my keep built, and I keep them in my keep, they'll be worth a point at the end of the game. Or instead, on a future turn, I can come over here to the guardhouse and deposit them and make money. This is another way to make money. Instead of just going to the silversmith, you can arrest people and then deposit them in jail. So anyway, so, all uh, right, so that was it, and now it is Helena's turn, and she is going to the guild hall. Once again, she is continuing to race the building. We're on to the second row now, and, um, right, so she just moves up again. She's behind Jen. Jen is a little bit worried. Jen wants to get that best spot. Helena might take that spot before her, and so that was that, and it is Jen's turn. And so now that she's got the stone cutter, she's going to start setting cones. She gets one plus one. That is two stone. All right, and my turn. So, and this is interesting. I could come here again. I'd have to pay two bucks, one to, to do both of these, but that means I could recover two groups from two different locations. But all these groups are little tiny groups, so it doesn't make much sense for me to do that. I could come over here and now sell these guys for points and or get my guys out. Or, or, Let's see, I talk around. Oh, or I can start going woodcutting. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the forest and get one, two lumber because I need. So now I've got three lumber. Does that mean enough? I've got enough to build? Let's see. I need three lumber, one clay, and two stone. So I need to just go start getting some stone as well. All right, so there we go. All righty. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd gotten that stone cutter instead of Jen. Shoot, I really needed him because he would have been the third. Um, Craftsman icon. There are no stone cutters out now. Oh no. Without a stone cutter or equivalent, I can't build my keep or my hideout or my armory. No. Oh dear. That's not good. Hmm. Okay. Well, that means some of these other ones, because these aren't going to go away. These have to be recruited so that new ones come out. And as soon as a stone cutter comes out, I got to be Johnny on the spot and get him because I let Jen grab that one. Oh, that was a big mistake. All right. Well, anyway, so. But in the meantime, I'll start collecting some stone, but it's not going to do me any good because it's not like I can use stone to contribute to the cathedral because I'm too evil. All righty. So, oh, and by the way, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm so evil, I don't pay, a, I, whenever I do tax, I don't pay my first tax. So my, I would have had to pay tax for this. I didn't have to pay to round a Helena's guys up because it was taxable. I don't pay tax. I don't pay a single tax on an action. So anyway, so that's what I did. I'm starting to collect St uh, wood, all right, and now Helena says hi. Town center. Tell Helena is going to go and snag some people. So she, once again, uh, pays some in taxes and grabs the biggest collection. There's three over here. There's three over here. She's going to pick one of them based on the tiebreaker, silversmith or town center. Town center comes first. So she has kidnapped one of mine 
and returned her own workers to her. So now she's holding several of our workers captive. No! Alrighty, no big deal though. So Jen's turn. She will just keep on gathering some more. So it's one, two, three. So she's now got five stone. Very soon she'll be able to do the next level of cathedral. Because remember, she's racing to get to the top before Helena does it. Uh, my turn. I'll just come on over here and just get some lumber. One, two, three. So I've got a whole bunch of lumber now. And Helena says, hi. She's going to the guardhouse. Okay, first player in the game to go to the guardhouse is Helena. So here's what she does. She goes through and does all of as many of these actions as possible in order. The first thing she does is if she has any people in prison, they get returned. Which, and by the way, these all associate with the actions that we can do here. It's just she gets to do all of them. We have to do one or more depending on how many workers we've sent here. Next, um, any people that she has rounded up, she sends them to prison. So she sends Jen's and my guys to prison. And normally, if, if I was a human player, she, that player would have gotten three silver, but instead Helena just gets another, uh, what do you call it? And by the way, she's got five now. Let's go ahead and take five of these and put them back and use one of these little markers to indicate that she has five because she really collects that stuff like nobody's business. She's got six total. Okay, so she um, re re released hers, sent all of hers off, got a payment, and now if, oh, this is the case, if anybody is holding any of hers, I'm holding some of hers, she will spend two in taxes, so taxes are starting to build up, to get them released. So she just got those back. I was about to send them off over here. Um, so I could have made some money, but instead she just paid taxes. But hey, now there's more taxes to rob. And finally, if she had accrued any debts, she would pay money to get rid of the debts. But she has not gotten any debts yet. So that's what she did. Now, like I said, we can do the same stuff. We get silver for everybody that we deposit. We, um, for a single person here, we can get all of them retrieved. If we spend five, two of which is taxed, or we accumulate debt and drop our debt, we can recover from ours who are still being held. Or if we pay six, three of which is taxed, we can get rid of a debt. So that's the thing. I need to have 12 bucks by the end of the game to pay off these two debt so that I can get two virtue. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, oh, the interesting thing is if I have the debt collector on my side, when I do it, I'll get, in addition to getting the virtue, I'll also get some lumber that I could then come over here and get more virtue by donating that, etc., etc. So um, that was that. And so she was very busy over there. It is Jen's turn again. She just needs a little bit more stone. So she gets one, two, three, four. I can't believe I let her have that stone cutter. That was a bad move on my part. One, two, three, four. All right, so now she's got enough stone. And she's also got a big group of people there. I think I'm going to kidnap them. Um, I, I, so normally I'd have to spend one in taxes, except I don't have to. So I'm doing this for free. I'm taking all of Jen's. And now later on, if I send them to the uh, prison, I'll get three bucks for that. Okay. In the meantime, I've stopped her from being able to accumulate huge amounts of stone. Alrighty. So that was that. And now it is Helena's turn again. She says, I'm going, oh, she's going to the guardhouse again. Takes as many actions as possible. She gets her guys out. She doesn't have any. She um, delivers. She doesn't have any. She pays to get, she doesn't have any. And she, all right, so she did none of these things. So that was easy peasy. Jen's turn again. All right, does Jen have enough? Jen is coming over here one more time. She is rushing the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, she is gonna spend all eight of this stone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So she keeps one of it. Oh, wait, no, she's not, no, she's not, no, she's not. Because she wants to build this, which needs four stone, lumber, and clay. So Jen would have to give this up. She doesn't want to give that up. So she's not going to come here right away. For the first time, Jen is coming down here to the workshop, and where she could either recruit one of these guys by paying four silver, and she's got plenty, or instead she draws one plus one for every two guys. So she's just drawing one. She's getting this. She doesn't care what it is. She's just using it to build the next level of the cathedral. Although she could build it. It's a library. Give up a card to get two. All right, but anyway, so she doesn't care about that. So that's what Jen did. It is now Helena's turn again. Town center. Oh, Helena's going to kidnap some people. All righty, um, pays one in taxes, grabs the biggest group possible. Wouldn't you know, that would be mine. She just stole all my silversmith guys. I'm surprised they stayed there as long as they did, in all honesty. So, and all right, so there's a lot of tax money to steal over here. It'd be particularly good if somebody had the pickpocket. 
Hmm. So that was it for her. Jen's turn. Now she will come and build. She will spend eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight stone. It could have been you know, a combination of stone and wood, but, and she will give up this library she just got to move up again. Now she's up to 12 points and she gets another reward, which is more virtue and two stone. All right, that's the last thing she wants. She can get stone like it already. But anyway, so that's that. And now one more build and she's made it to the 20. But for this last build, she needs two gold and two uh, marble. So that's a pretty big ask. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. My turn. Um, right. I'm thinking it might about be time for me to go and get my bust my guys out of here. Because here's the problem. I don't mind having these guys over here. I can always get them later. But the problem is every time the black market gets emptied out, and I like going to the black market because I get a big benefit off of it. Every time the black market empties out, if I've got the most people here, I accumulate more debt because um, I'm the one who has to you know, pay the upkeep costs to keep the prison running since most of the prisoners are mine. So I'm responsible for that. I would not like that. I'm glad that Jen's got more in there. So maybe it should be time for me to come over here. I'll just come over here and with a single, I can, one guy, I can do one of these actions. It'll be the action to get all my guys out. So now, if I get my guys arrested from the black market, Jen will accumulate the debt because she's got the most guys there. Okay. Workshop. Oh, hey, this is a first for her. She's going to the workshop where, follow these steps. She pays two in taxes. There's a lot of money for stealing over there. I might be stealing that pretty soon. And um, tries to, well, she, okay, she just eliminated the illusionist, is out of the game. And, um, right, if there had been silver on there, she would have discarded that. And let's see, if possible, add a future scheme. This is the first time. She had all her regular schemes. These are future scheme cards that change her focus. So this goes in her discard pile, and she is now adding this, another guardhouse. So we know that in this game, she is more likely to guardhouse than normal because she has just added a new card to her deck. All right, so that's it. There's over there in the workshop. So that was her. It is Jen's turn. So she's got to start building up again. Uh, and she's still good at getting... Um, uh, stone. So let's have her just go on ahead and get one, two. All right. And now it's my turn. And hey, I like the black market. I'll come over here. I'll spend one, two, three. Hmm. And this is interesting, by the way. I, I totally forgot. When I went here to bust my guys out, I could have instead, um, you know, put gens behind bars so that I could have made money off of that. But I'll worry about that later. In the meantime, I'm just holding them. And Jen can always get them. Jen can come here and get these guys out for free. And she can, she can accrue debt and uh, drop nobility. Or she can pay five to get these guys out if she wants. So she doesn't have to wait for me. But anyway, now I'm coming over here to the big black market, spending three, dropping. I'm almost to my ultimate goal of not paying anything to recruit. And I am getting a marble and a lumber and two stone, which I do need stone. All right, so I got a lot of resources to start building my buildings, but unfortunately I can't build them because, oh, meanwhile though, I'm sorry, uh, this came out because of Helena. Who came out? It is, it's a, oh, it's a stone. I need that. Oh, I need that more. I needed that more. No. But Jen was in the black market space that would let me go and get that. It's fine, it's fine. I, I got a plan, no biggie. So that was my turn. Helena is up. She says, hi, I would like to go to the town center and kidnap even more people, please. So again, she goes to the place with the biggest group, which is the town center. So she's kidnapping one of mine and getting her own two back. Okay. So, and that cost her one. Oh my God, look at all this money just accumulating. Jen's turn. So she uh, is going to come over here. No, it's just you need. She's going to get some more stone, which is one, two, three, three stone. She's got a plan. All righty, and now it's my turn. And was I was going to do this to clear everybody out to open this up. And since Jen would have three in prison and I'd have two, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But I also, I want to come over here and steal all this money. It's just, anybody could take that at any time. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. I got to get this cash. Look at all this cash money. Oh, yeah, because I was broke. I was broke, yo. So now I'm loaded again. But that was an evil act. Boom, boom. I'm at negative nine, but I don't pay taxes. Now's the time to start recruiting without any consequences. Pay totally for free. Okay. Although I'm going to have to pull my way out of this hole. All right. So that was it. Helena says, hi. I want to go to the King's storehouse. 
I was here before, but they all got arrested. And so she gets one up. She's in positive points now. And the interesting thing is, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I totally forgot. Folks, I cheated on Jen's half be half before. I have to admit, every time I've played this, I've always been evil. I've never been goody two shoes like Jen. I totally forgot. Once you cross this line, once you're earning points, you can't go to the black market. When Jen went to the black market earlier, I don't think that was allowed because she was a good person and it wasn't allowed. So this this was well, well, we'll say at that point that she wasn't that she had dropped down low enough. I don't maybe she was, but anyway. So anyway. So, um, she just pushed her way up. It is now Jen's turn again. Jen is going to come to the storehouse. This is her second. So she gets to make two conversions. She's going to convert twice. Three stone and three stone. So there goes six. Three and three to get two. So now she's got the two marbles she needs. She just needs two gold, which she can get right over here in the black market. But again, She's not allowed to go to the black market. I got to remember that. I totally cheated earlier, but that's why you watch with Klingon subtitles turned on, right, folks? Always watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on because I'm sure Paulo noted that when I goofed up there. Anyway, so that was Jen's turn. She did a double conversion, got what she needs. Now she just needs to get gold. If only she was evil, she could get him so easy. But instead, she's got to start going to the mines to get that gold. All right, so that was... Jen's turn. It is my turn. I can go to the black market all day long. Although, oh, I got a problem too. I am so evil now. Every time I get more evil, I take on more debt, which is negative two points. But I do want to do this to clear this out so I can get here so I can recruit the person I want. So I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I uh, have to pay one because this is not taxable, of course. I go evil, but I can't, so I just take more debt. I've got six points worth of debt, and um, I get two gold. But hey, so it's really, that's two points, so that's only, uh, um, so basically I got no debt. I got two points worth of debt, but it's offset by that gold. Uh, everybody gets arrested. Boom, boom, boom. This slips over, and Jen, Miss Goody Two Shoes, she has three people in jail, so her um, virtue dropped by one, and whoever has, and mine don't because I only have two, and whoever has the most, Jen just got some debt as well that she'll want to pay off. Um, right, okay. So that was it. Now, next time I go to the black market, I recruit the person I want. I start building my buildings. My plan is assured. And meanwhile, town center, she is going to start arresting people again. The biggest group is here, here, and here. We got a three-way tie. Oh, wait, no, she never does tax end. So it's King Storehouse or Workshop. King Storehouse comes first. So she returns her own and kidnaps two of Jen. Eventually, she will send them off to prison. But for now, they're being held privately um, and being talked to. So that was it. And, right, to do that, she had to pay taxes, so taxes are starting to build up again. It is Jen's turn. Jen only has four workers now because she's given up four of them forever, and a bunch of them are on the board. So she's starting to run out of things to do. But she does still want to... Right, she... Oh, no, she needs to start building up for uh, gold because she needs gold for her last step. So coming here, uh, you either get clay or gold. You need two guys to get a gold, so instead, with one, she'll get one plus one. So Jen just got two clay, which I'm sure she needs for her building anyway. She needs that clay to build the chapel, which she'll do later. So that's Jen's action. My turn. Finally, the black market. I spend two. I um, get another debt because I am so evil. This is hurting. But I recruit anybody I want. I take the merchant, which would have, I would have had to, you know, and I now have all three build types. And whenever I go to the storehouse, I can give up money to get gold. Which, so I can convert money into points. Money is 10 to 1, gold is 1 to 1. So that means my money, you know, if I spend the time to do it. So who cares if I got all this debt if I've got all these ways to turn resources into buku points because of my merchant and my patron. There we go. Okay. Well, that is a lot of debt, though. I'm going to worry about that a little bit, but I'll worry about it later. All right, so that's it. Helena is up. She's going to the workshop again. And she takes away the pickpocket. No pickpocket for nobody. And um, she pays two in taxes. Taxes are starting to build up. And slide over. Oh, whoops. Actually, we should have had two workers out. A conspirator, which means you don't have, you have to pay less money when you go to the town center because you conspire to get people arrested. And another acolyte. Okay. So that was her. Jen's turn. She's almost out of people. She's going to have to go and get them pretty quick. But right now, she's going to come here. Two people gets her one gold. Nice. One more and she can get the gold. All right. So that's it. My turn. Now, do I have everything I need to build my, um, right. 
I've got all the lumber I need, I've got the stone I need, I've got the gold I need, I've got the resources, I could build my keep now. Um, which is a reminder, at the end of the game, for every three people I've got personally arrested, I score a point. But it'll make me too more evil to do this right now. I don't want any more debt. I think I need to start paying my debt off, which means I need to make some money, which means, how am I going to make money? I am going to, let's see, the ways to make money, steal it, silversmith it, or spend money to kidnap people and then um, send them off to the prison. So there's three ways to make money. Because uh, I burned all my money in the black market now. All righty. Uh, da, 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 da. So, did I just start building up? Because I've got plenty of people. I can start building up money that way. But with that, let's go on ahead and arrest people. So I'm gonna, I don't have to spend because my first is tax. I don't pay anything in taxes. So it's free for me to do this. And I've got one guy, so I pick one group. So it's unfortunate, down here there's a whole bunch of people, but I can only pick one group of them. The Helena, she would pick them all. I pick one group, so I can get two or two or two. Um, and you know what? I think this would be kind of mean. I'm going to pick Jen's two to slow her down. So now she's got to start building up to get that other stone. She says, no! That was kind of mean. Um, she can still get it. She just has to work harder for it because she can't come to the black market to get it because she's too goody two-shoes. So that was me. Uh, and so if I kidnap a whole bunch of people and then put them over here, I can make a ton of money. So that was me. Helena says, oh, it's her last card. No, her next to the last card. Tax stand. So hey, she put all those taxes in here. She's going to pull them all right back out. And that gives her another marble. All righty. So there we go. And um, right. So Jen's up again. So she was about to do it. She was about to get the gold she needed. No. Uh. Well, she'll start building up again. So the one gives her a two clay because she needs two there for a gold. All righty. And now it's my turn again. I'm going to come to the town center again. Once again, I don't have to pay. And now that I've got two people, I can collect two groups. So I will collect, uh, and it can be from two different areas. In a four-player game, you can collect two groups if they happen from one area. But anyway, so I'm going to collect another group of gens, and I'm going to collect this group of Helenas. So I've got a whole bunch of people. Now when I go to prison and get my people out, I can make a whole bunch of money. Or I can go to prison, get my people out, drop them off, or start paying off my debts, which would be a good thing to do. Yeah, because I, I got a lot of debts here. Right, okay. So that was that. I've, I've grabbed some more people. And then it's Helena's turn. Her last card, she's going to the guardhouse. <gasps> Dang it, she's gonna... Rrr. All right, so first of all, she um, anybody that she had uh, gotten, they get dropped off. And if she were a regular player, she would collect money, but uh, she doesn't. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. No, first of all, she gets hers out. Then she drops them off. And however much she drops off, that gave her one. Then um, she pays two in taxes to get any that were held by other players. So she just did that. We have to pay five. Uh, and then she pays three to get rid of debt. She has no debt, so she is done. And now she's going to have to reshuffle her deck the next time she goes because her deck is emptied out. Okay. Dang it. So that's two bu less, less bucks I make. Oh, well. All right, so it's Jen's turn. Her last worker, this gives her the second gold she needs. My turn. Let's see, I'll come on ahead. Again, I don't have to pay. And now I could grab three groups. So I'll grab a group and uh, two groups from someplace else. I will grab a group and a group. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of people. Now, if the game were over right now and I had my keep, I would convert th uh, these three to one into points, but that's not the way it works. So I got a whole bunch of people to drop off the next time I uh, go. All right, Helena. So we got to reshuffle her deck. Oh, that's going to be tough one-handed. All right, I'll just put the deck down. And remember, uh, in this particular game, we only added one more card, but depending on how things work out, she might have added other cards into her deck as well. I'm not going to shuffle it up super. That'll do good. That's good enough. Good enough. So Helena says, hi, I would like to go to the King's Storehouse. I love it over there, which gives her one. So that was a point to her. And oops, I'm zoomed in. Sorry about that, folks. Jen's turn. She, if she had a worker, she would come over here and finish the cathedral. But she doesn't. She pushed herself so hard. So, uh, I mean, she, she wanted to do it um, to get that gold because I could have stopped her from getting the gold again by arresting her more. So here's the deal. If you ever find yourself in a place where you have no workers, then your entire turn is spent. If I recall correctly, this hasn't actually happened to me in Jen. 
because Jen wouldn't have let this happen. Let's see, where is it? I think if, you're, if you have no workers, your whole turn is spent recovering just one worker, so it's an incredibly wasteful turn. So Jen shouldn't have done that. Last turn, instead of sending her other guy here, who I then promptly arrested, she should have spent her guy here to get these guys out. Um, that was a big mistake. Um, shoot. And like I said, I do not remember how this works. I, I remember it's you get one. I think it's just you take one from prison or something like that. Oh, man. It's in here somewhere, but I, for like me, I do not remember uh, how it is. Because it's a weird off... Right, oh yeah. If they start their turn with no workers on the player board, their entire turn is spent returning any one worker from the main board, uh, from the main board to their player board. So yeah, basically Jen just takes this work... Her whole turn was this. That was painful. But she needed to get that gold because she knew I could have arrested her and stopped her from doing it again. So she's got the gold next turn. She'll come to the prison, get her guys out, etc., etc. Meanwhile, my turn. Hey, I could grab four groups of people. But it's getting to the point where there's just not enough to grab. So I think I'm done arresting people. And it is time to come over here to prison. I get to do two actions. One, I will release all my folks. And two, I will drop... Oh... If, yeah, I'll just go ahead and drop all these people off, which gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11. 11 bucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I am crazy rich. You know what? I don't need to collect these. Instead of collecting them, I'll collect them later. Instead, my one action was getting paid for dropping all these people off, and my second action is... I'm going to pay off one of my debts. Now, normally it's five, two of which are taxed. I don't pay taxes, so I just pay... Oh, I'm sorry, no, it's six, three of which are taxes. So I get rid of two taxes, so I pay one. Oh, wait, no! I wanted to have the debt collector, so I'd make lumber when I do this. So no, I'm not going to pay my debts off yet. I am just going to recall my guys, because i got to get this guy so that when I start paying off debts, I'm getting a little bit of something extra for it, because I've got all those debts. So anyway, so that's it. I dropped a bunch of people off. And I got my guys back, so that was that. Helena says, Guild Hall! So Helena is just building, and you know the game is uh, getting closer, and what does she do? She moves up. Oh, she's right on Jen's tail. Jen's got to get that built before time runs out. And now it is Jen's turn. She could come and build this, but she, oh, she's safe. She's, so she's going to come here, she's going to get all her people back, and oh, totally for free. So that was painful to waste a turn getting that guy, but now Jen is in business for quite a while, and she didn't have to spend any money to get them all back. Uh, this was her first guy here, so she only gets to do one action. It could have been to pay off her debt, but no, she needed to get her workforce back. My turn. Right. I am finally coming over here. Uh, two guys, that means I could go anywhere. I'm going to take this debt collector. Normally, I'd have to... I don't pay any in taxes, and I don't pay anything, so I get him for free. And now, when I pay my debts, I get money back. Nice. Slide over. New one comes out. It is a laborer who doesn't give you any power, but gives you one of each of the icons so you can build anything. All right, Helena says, hi, I'm going to the black market. I would like this best spot, please. Whereupon, I will drop one and get two marble. That's it. All righty. So basically, now she's got 10 marble. All righty. And so it's Jen's turn. And finally, folks, she's done it. She makes it. There's the two gold. There's the two marble. Oh, no! No, she hasn't built... She, all right, no, 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 she's not doing it yet. Sorry, she needs another card. To go to, or so first, she won't go there yet. She will come over here to the workshop where... This is her first guy, so she gets one. Uh, it's like a carpenter's hut. She doesn't care. Next turn, she'll give that carpenter's hut to build the last space. So she wasn't a bit of a rush, uh, but I think it'll work out fine. My turn, and now... Let's see... I want to arrest a bunch more people so that when I come here, I can do multiple actions. Or do I want to come here and do the black market? I want to come over here and pay my debts. But I could come here and pay multiple debts. I could come here. I don't have anybody to deliver. I uh, don't have anybody to break out. But hey, with three guys, I could pay off three debts, which would cost me um, 18 bucks. But since I don't pay taxes, because I'm so evil, it really only costs me 12 bucks. And I have plenty, because I made 11 before, so I'm doing it. I'm coming here, and I'm paying off three debts. One, two, three. So I'm eliminating those, and that gives me one, two, three. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, but I have to do these one at a time. So, okay, I have to do these one at a time. So I will pay off one debt, which gives me one better, and uh, that costs uh, six, but it only costs me four. So this comes back over here. One to taxes, and one, two, three. 
And because I've got the debt collector, I make two lumber. So this is how, oh my God, I've got all these resources. I could just, wow. Okay, that was my first one. My second one, I again pay one in taxes and one, two, three, because I'm still evil. Oh, wait, no, no, I did have to pay two in taxes, sorry. Wait a minute, well, I did, oh no, I should have jumped up one on that last one. So I, I only paid uh, one in tax. So I only paid one in taxes, but now I go up again and I got rid of another debt and that gives me two more lumber, thanks to my debt collector. And now for my third one, now I have to pay two in taxes, one and three to the supply to get rid of this third one, which increases me one more time. So now I'm at negative five instead of negative nine, and I get two more lumber. So my plan has worked. I only have one more debt. I've got all the lumber in the world. I've got so many resources, folks. It's absolutely insane. I've got all my work. I could still get one more person if I want, but for now, I think in the future, I'm gonna start building because I've got all the skills. I've got all the resources I need to get 20 to 29 points worth of stuff. Plus, I will give myself all these special powers. Um, and I'll still try to get rid of this other debt and try to become a good guy because my excess goods, I will trade away for, um, for forgiveness at the storehouse. Folks, I think I'm gonna stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of what Architects of the West Kingdom is all about. Now, if you wanna hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.